Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Tact OP Destiny episode number three. All right, the previous episode, we got a small little recollection, uh, what happened and why, how the, you know, the main characters, Tact and Gazette were able to become a conductor and a music art. We got the story behind that. And there was like, you know, like they, they were in a little town where uh, we got the backstory of Takt as well how you know he looked up to his dad and his died uh, and his dad died because of the d2s but he still did not give up on music he used to play it and everything and Gazette was like kind of like a mental um you know like like mental encouragement for Takt and because of her Takt decided to actually play uh, the piano in that um, little symphonica that they had the little festival that they had in that town and you know everything was going all well and good but then suddenly the d2 attacked and then Gazette i think died for a moment there but something happened the the necklace started glowing and she became this uh, music art um i'm sure there is some kind of a reason behind it why she became all that stuff which has still not been uh, told to us and i'm sure they're actually going to reveal that to us sooner as and sooner or later and as the episodes go on so yeah that became a conductor the z became a music card and i'm guessing this episode will be we'll see them fighting and hopefully we get some more answers you know more uh, there are a few more questions that are still going on in my mind so hopefully we get that and even if in this episode we don't get any answers it'll they'll surely reveal that us in sooner or later so yeah anyway so let's get started this is episode number three of tactopi destiny so yeah let's get this video started i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here thank you to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go Okay, my god. Oh, the three of them. Whoa. Not three, four. There's a lot of them. And here he is. Damn. Okay, so he's kind of like the conductor, yeah. Like he's conducting everything and Gazette is fighting. Wow. <laughs> damn, damn, look at the animation, the movement. Okay. Oh no. Whoa, he can also whoa whoa whoa. I was not expecting that. Oh, this thing. Why it becomes red in, in this? Damn. Wow. Oh. Okay, so what will happen now? She's injured. Like, oh, wait, what? oh my god. Whoa. Oh, these are the characters we saw in the trailer. These two characters, we saw them. Okay, so this is another music art, I'm guessing? Yeah, she, he's a conductor, there you go. Okay. Whoa, who the hell is this? What the?
Okay. Okay. So, this is all a recollection. So I wonder why they decided to go to America. Like, like I know, like they're going to meet the sister. But what made them suddenly take the decision? One thing I'm a little bit concerned about, what's going to happen to Cosette? Like, like, we can see that she's fine in the present, but she's injured. Like, how is, are they going to, like... Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. Oh boy, is this a dream? I think so. Yeah, it is a dream, okay. Journey. All right, his hand is back. So, oh my God, what is that? And this is looking like a weird dream sequence. You know, the where you kind of. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. A personality. Okay, wait a minute. So her personality is gone, but oh, wait, so. Wait, she's still in that form. The, the eyeliner is there. Lenny. That guy? Ah! Okay. Oh damn, Ara Ara. Okay. So Leonard, okay, Lenny. Titan. <laughs> Titan and Lenny. What happened to his hand? Oh, he also doesn't know what it is. Oh, okay. Twenty years ago. Yeah.
Black Knight Side Right. Okay. Harmonica Ore. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, okay, okay. This is awfully convenient timing, isn't it? Oh, okay, but and Yeah. Oh. What? Oh. Damn, that's a big deal. <laughs> Reborn. Yeah, but what happened to the uh, the original cassette? Oh boy. But what what was the first episode then? First and the second the first episode. Oh my god. Yeah. One other problem. Out of her armored one. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's why. Hmm. Oh boy. So well, that's why they started traveling, but Yeah, they don't have phones like Oh, okay. Oh.
Fix Cosette. All right. But Okay. Oh, so the first episode was like in the middle of their journey. All right. That's why I was saying like Cosette's personality in, in the first episode was very different from this Cosette we are seeing now. It was like the original Cosette. Okay, she is adopted. All right, I think so. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, okay. What is up with this whole thing of, is there a D2 somewhere or something? Oh boy. Yeah. What? Oh, there is. Oh my God. Like they explained everything about, not everything, but a few things about music arts, but nothing about the conductor, which... Hmm. Damn. Hmm. There's a lot of D2s coming now, like... As I said, this whole place was peaceful. Damn, okay, so... <laughs> the part of the power also comes to him. He's so fast now. We also saw that previously. Um... I don't think that's how she doesn't know how to fight properly. Yeah, she's just standing there and shooting. Yeah. Oh. Um, oh my god. Oh, so as, so, oh no, so the gun is connected to him. Oh boy. Okay, he's here. Wait, so this girl can use her weapon, but Lenny has both her, his limbs, so... Yeah. I think the gun is a part of... Oh! Oh, because she was forcefully activated. Oh. 
Oh Lord. What? I don't think that was a joke, yeah. All right, okay. Damn. So I wonder where the normal musicals gets their energy from. Like, you know, because um, Destiny, you suck at aiming. You need more training. <laughs> oh no. Oh no! The thing is here. Oh my god. Oh, that was an interesting. Nice. Damn, the houses. Okay. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Uh, that took a big. That was a big burden too. What duct? Oh lord. Hmm. Yeah. Planned. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so now they start traveling. <sighs> mm. Okay, there they are. Mm. Piano, yeah. <laughs> ah. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, true. She said, she explained herself that she's from the, uh, which one? I forgot. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's the end. Oh, um, you know what? Like the first episode, when I saw it, like I saw Cosette and Destiny as well and everything that happened then it like you know in in this uh second episode we see cosette again in the flashback and the first episode and the second episode i wasn't able to actually find any difference between the two cosette especially in the personalities they were nearly the same but now that i think about it it was a little bit different the first episode cosette was a little bit more direct and kind of sarcastic in a way you know the stoic type of personality but 
episode second Gazette was a lot more honest with herself in a way I think but at that time I wasn't able to actually find the difference now it makes sense and I think now we have Lenny and Titan with us but at that time in the first episode there was no Lenny or Titan so I'm guessing Lenny and Titan as they said they would go halfway through the journey and then they're on their own so I'm guessing the first episode was a scene from after half of the journey has already ended because Lenny and Titan was not with them and that's the end so I think within this time that we're going to have from now and towards like you know from now to the end of episode uh to the beginning of episode one where it starts that portion this time limit that we're going to have where we'll also have Lenny and Titan with us I'm, I'm guessing we're going to see an immense character development of you know her personality will change Gazette's personality will change little by little as as she spends more time with Tart and Anna so that like you know like in, in, in the beginning when, when the time will come when it, the beginning of the first episode will start that portion her personality will almost be same like the Gazette that we already that Tart and Anna like you know, already knew from like f from the beginning like the, the the personality that Gazette had in second episode we're going to get a version of her personality which is a lot closer to that probably because they are going to spend a lot of time together I, I, I don't know I feel like it's something like that because like yeah now that we're seeing her personality here she's very direct very blunt very you know have no emotions and stuff something like that but she's definitely not like that in episode one she was a lot different I, I think she was also kind of joking around with Tuck yeah like we saw that she was kind of joking around and everything and like it was completely different from today's episode so there will be development and I'm guessing that yeah something like that is going to happen and she'll, she'll become probably become a character who uh, was I don't know who was uh who's going to be he's going to she's going to be a being and her personality will be developed almost similar to Gazette how she was so yeah we'll see now I don't know like you know usually in these type of situations where there's this like th this is like a thing where like this is like a type of a um I've seen this in a few animes before as well where there's this one character you know who was this type of a human type of uh, you know very human like like a, a normal human being a character who suddenly happens something happens to them and they lose their personality and, and something else happens or someone else kind of gets into their body or something and there's like a huge change in the personality and like you know the human like character becomes like a robotic type of personality and like you know like at the beginning everyone is very bewildered very troubled and they want the original character back but as time goes on you know that person develops and kind of becomes and gets a unique personality to themselves and they start getting more friendly with the other characters and as time goes on and when it's almost the end you know there comes a time when there is like this situation where it seems as if she will revert back to the person person she was before you know like in episode one you know the original human character it seems as if she'll get that back if she sacrifices her current personality and then there's this whole dilemma of us going through like you know so many episodes like us as well as audiences and also the characters themselves who got attached to that uh, you know robotic personality and who got attached to her unique personality then there's this dilemma of us as viewers and that those characters as well and they'll think that yeah like i don't want this this person to go back to the original like you know person that uh, that she or she was and I, I don't know if i'm able to make any sense but you know and then this dilemma comes out and there's like a choice in the end and usually by the end of it that person does not revert back to the original personality he, he or she keeps that or that personality that unique personality that they have now and you know like this things happens I've, I've seen quite a few animes like this 
I can't remember the names, but I remember like there was these whole this type of whole thing. And I don't know if this, you know, if Dr. Opie Destiny will be something like this, as we are seeing here, like the cassette we saw in episode two, the normal cassette, the human cassette, I'm going to call her the human cassette. And this music art cassette that we see now, we, we, we can tell that she's going to get a lot of developments from episode one. We kind of saw how developed she was and she'll probably get more character development after that as well. So she's going to get more character development. She's definitely going to change her personality is going to change. So who knows, maybe like, you know, just like the anime that I recalled, maybe in this anime as well, there'll be this whole type of dilemma in the future as well, where we're going to see like the music art cassette has become a unique type of an entity and a person who is close to Takt and Anna. And then the time will come where there'll be like a choice where they'll have to choose which cassette they want back. This cassette who is with them, like, you know, now the, the same cassette who went through so much character development or the cassette, the human cassette that we saw in episode two. I don't know, this might happen. It, it has a huge possibility of happening. So we'll see. You know, anyways, so this, these are all speculations. And I just thought about like, you know, this, this whole episode kind of made me realize that something like this might happen. But anyways, um, okay, so here we see what happens after that, after she, like, you know, after Cosette transforms into Destiny and okay, so we see the little fight scene, you know, in the beginning and then we see Lenny and Titan coming in, helping them. They are also conductor and music art. And then we see Takt, he wakes up, Gazette comes, okay, uh, here's the thing, I need to check this portion out again, Gazette says, Anna also referred to me by that name, but my name is Destiny, or Umme, Umme, you know, like in Japanese, Destiny, Maestro, uh, what are you, I am Destiny. Okay, um, okay, just a sec. All right, here it is. I was born from the score Symphony Number no. Five Destiny. Oh, <coughs> okay, so the score. The, the the score is called symphony number no. five destiny as i said i have no idea about like, music especially like you know piano some music related to pianos so yeah um i might not get a few things but here we can see that she's saying that she was born from the score symphony number no. five destiny that's why destiny and so i'm guessing all the different music arts are assigned to a certain score you know, for, so th is there like a score called Titan? I think so. That means isn't that that's that means something like that. Like there, are like all the music art will be somehow related to some different form of music. And uh, um, like this is piano. So I'm uh, so I wonder if, if is this like any type of music or only limited to piano music? Uh. Because you know, like there's not not only piano. There's a different a lot of different types of music played by different instruments. So I'm sure we'll get our answers here. But we can we know it now that uh, Destiny is born from the score Symphony Number no. Five, and it's called Destiny. And he says, "I'm your music art. You are the conductor who directs me, Maestro Tuck." All right, so. Now, then we get uh, meet Lenny and Titan and okay, now Lenny gives us a little bit of background information what happened uh, about the whole D2 attack, you know, the black meteorite, the thing and what actually, why does the uh, music, why are the music arts effective against um, D2s? They say that uh, the source of the music arts power is the Harmonia Ore, which is uh, which is completely opposite to the Black Knight side right, that is the Black Meteor right. It has an energy that counters it. Alright. It's a peculiar stone that reacts to music. Uh, 
All right. Uh, in this country in particular, we were able to drive the D2 into dormancy and successfully end the battle. That's what brought on the Sagan declaration for. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, all right, so. Okay, so what happened was the uh, D2s came, they attacked, and what they did is they drove, drove the D2s away by fighting with Musicas. And after they were able to successfully drive all the D2s away to prevent more from coming, they did the whole Sagan declaration where music was stopped completely. And that, that all that meant that no D2 appeared after that. So that's why everything was at peace and you know, no music was being played. So I wonder what actually spurred the D2 to come out again. Was that uh, uh, because uh, Dark was playing? You know what? A thought kind of struck me. Uh, remember uh, how Tuck, uh, Tuck's dad died? Uh, his dad died uh, when he was conducting, I think, like, you know, the music. And you know, D2 attacked, I think, and that's how he died. And similarly here, again, we see Tuck playing the piano, and after that, the D2 attacks. So I'm guessing there must be something special about Tuck and his family and, you know, the dad as well. Which was the reason why when Tuck's dad played, you know, composed, and, uh, like, you know, was, uh, was conducting, the D2 attacked because it was somehow attracted to Tuck's news, like, you know, Tuck's dad's music that he was conducting. And something must be special in him and Tuck as well. So, again, now that Tuck was playing outside in the open, the D2 attacked again. So, I'm, I don't know, this is just a guess. I'm guessing something special with their family you know something must be special with their family's music that they produce which is why both the dad and him also got attacked somehow because if cosette was not here Tuck would have died and and they like you know like uh, anna kind of explained that uh, like cosette tried to save you protect you and the casualty would have been would have been tucked over here just like how his dad died previously so it's my, there might be a relation between the two, you know, who knows, but we'll see. And <clears throat> anyways, and then they explain what actually like, you know, music arts and the composers are and how they go through this training, this and that. But Cosette is an exception. He's she suddenly awakened to this power and that's why she might not be stable in the future. So to, to stop that, to prevent that, they are going to America to um, Anna's sister where she works with the Symphonia and they, she can probably help out by looking at Cosette. So yeah, and then they like, you know, kind of start planning how to go there and stuff. And we see, uh, like, you know, like when Anna explains how, uh, and here's another thing, here's when Anna also, ex like we get to know that Cosette is, I'm, I'm guessing Cosette is adopted. So she says that uh, when she came here first, she was kind of like this now. She didn't want to talk to me or anything. But the, uh, what, what was the name of the food? The tart? Just a sec. Mm. Okay. Uh. All right, uh, <coughs> Tart Tatan, Tart Tatin. Okay, that's the name. Um, so that tart that she was eating, she said that uh, that was the only food that when she brought out, she ate it and she, I'm guessing after that she started warming up. So here again, we see <laughs> like this cousette that is Destiny eating that and in the end, in the ending scene, we see her ex like say that, can I get that food again? <laughs> so there is, like obviously, like there is, I'm sure there is, we'll also see this in the future. There is still Cosette in her. It's, it's just that like Destiny is also kind of, I'm guessing, mixed in with the Cosette we knew. So he, her personality is kind of like this. And I'm... I, as we saw in the first episode, I'm guessing her personality is going to start shifting towards more towards Gazette, and 
you know she's going to become a mixture of destiny and cosette like you know like mixture of two personalities like destiny has an as has a unique type of a personality we can see this you know like she's very blunt and everything like she's stoic and you know doesn't talk much like talks about missions and stuff <laughs> and we see also see like like cassette as uh, we know from episode two so by the end of it i am guessing there'll be like a mixture of the two you know because in episode one i remember she was laughing and joking not laughing but joking around with duct which is kind of like cassette's personality and at the same time she was very <laughs> you know like uh, dutiful about her missions and when they asked something about like you know, asked her that what is your goal she was like destroy all d2 and which is very similar to destiny's personality that we can see in this episode it's like a mixture and it's kind of mixing like you know two and she's probably going to become in like a, a person in the middle of both destiny and cosette's personality like both a mixture of it i don't know like i think it'll, it's going to go in that direction we'll see and you know then the d2s attack again destiny with because of her like you know dutiful attitude and personality she just goes to fight and here we get to see another thing is like first of all destiny needs more like you know training i guess she can't properly fight and at the same time the more she uses the gun and more she uses the power is eating duct and that little red patch is coming out so <coughs> One thing that Lenny said here, he said something like you're tasty or something. So that was like, what? And he was like, hey, I'm just joking. But then he, he kind of said that only that part or something like that. So I'm, I'm guessing she's not fully joking. So there's also something up with Duct as well. We'll see. And another scene we've got to know here is that Duct also kind of gets a little bit of power boost. I think like he was able to run around so quickly. So probably because of like, you know, him being connected to a music art. So, yeah. Okay, and this is like a problem, isn't it? Like, her using her power is going to consume Duct. So, damn. And f at least now, like, the way her personality is, she actually wouldn't care if something happened to Duct. But I'm sure that will change in the future. You know? She's, like, very... Uh, what can I say? Uh, you know, like very rash in these type of decisions like she just goes around blasting guns and like you know like Tak was all like like suffering in pain and she didn't even look at him so obviously we can see like you know like her straight laced personality her only looking at the mission is probably the reason why he she is kind of acting like this which will definitely change in the future and yeah i'm, I'm kind of sure about it but anyways, for now, it's kind of a problem. Like, Duct will suffer as, like, you know, just as soon as she starts fighting. So, and then here in the end, uh, again, like, you know, weird, like, you know, the way the anime kind of does it, kind of gives out little hints and then suddenly stop. Here, Lenny was saying something like, if this is connected to everything that happened, um, that would mean that the 10 years ago in boston maestro and then he stops i'm guessing that was something related to uh, duck's dad isn't it i don't know <laughs> so then he stops i'm guessing we're going to get more of this you know uh in the future we're going to understand what he's trying to say and we'll get more clarification but for now yep it's, it's, en it's encased in mystery but okay so now, in the ending scene, as a, again, as I said, like, she has Cosette's personality in her. That's why she, when Tucker was using, the, you know, his fingers, um, Cosette was like, what are you doing? And he says, I'm playing the piano, trying to play the piano, you know, air piano. <laughs> and Cosette said that I would like to hear your, you, you playing the piano, which is definitely something that Cosette would have said. So... And then she, again, she says that the food that we ate, um, you know, like, is it possible to eat that sweet confection I had yesterday again? <laughs> so we can already see, like, you know, her change, a little bit change that she's going through. And this will increase and increase and increase as time goes on. And probably by the end of it, she'll be a mixture of Cosette and Destiny. 
so we'll see about that and who knows maybe there will really be like you know in the ending there will be like a time when there's like a dilemma of her actually verting back to Cosette's personality or her being like you know the way she is there'll be probably be a choice or something I don't know like or maybe it won't be but I'm just guessing at this point like yeah so let's see you know we got a little bit of explanations a few stuffs that I had questions about were answered and I'm sure more of answers will come but yeah this is this is looking great this is will be after this we're going to go in the journey and see what happens in the middle of the journey and stuff we kind of got a little bit of glimpse in episode one and we're going to get more of that and we're going to probably see Cosette you know, and Des Destiny as well like you know develop together as she spends more time with Anna and Tuck so yeah and Lenny and Titan is also there with him um with her so yeah um this uh I don't know why but this gives me a weird vibe like this anime gives me a weird vibe of the combination of your line in April and Carol and Tuesday if you have seen Carol and Tuesday you'll be able to understand like you know the I don't know there's like a weird vibe of that both of it together like the way it's kind of going is kind of I don't know like giving me Carol and Tuesday vibes and the theme of the story is you know piano and like you know conducting and everything it it it, it is very reminiscent of your line in April and it's kind of like a mixture and i loved both of it carol and tuesday was a criminally underrated underrated anime if you've not watched it and you want to watch a good music anime you should definitely do so carol and tuesday was fantastic it was one of the best shows and it was just so good and you know and we all we all of us know about your line april what what it was it, it was another masterpiece so i'm looking forward to how this anime goes and it's, it's a great start and i am Quite excited for the upcoming episodes so that's it so thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to um duct op destiny episode number three so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah that's it guys so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of uh, duct op destiny so until then goodbye and have a nice day